Pokemon buyer has spent two grand and he's got his package crushed. He is blaming Australia Post, but is it Australia Post's fault? Or is it the sender? We don't have an answer to this, but let's look at the news story. So the headline reads, Australia Post slammed after parcel containing $2,000 Pokemon cards arrived crushed. This is Channel 7 News. If it's Channel 7 News, it's got to be real. It has to be real. They can't over-exaggerate anything. So let's read this news article from Channel 7. A Pokemon card collector has slammed Australia Post after a parcel containing rare and expensive cards was delivered to his front door crushed. They were crushed. They were compactedly crushed. Channel 7 is saying they're just destroyed like that. The man said the value of the cards in the package exceeded more than $2,000. If you've got $2,000 to spend on Pokemon cards, fuck, I know people are like fucking Jake Paul or whatever his name is, fucking spending millions of dollars, but fuck me, that's a lot of money just for some cards, but let's keep going here. However, when it arrived, it was clearly damaged. Wang! Sparking fears, his expensive cards have been destroyed. So he's, 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 he's speculated that these cards are going to be fucked. These cards are going to be fucked. He's seen the box and he's not happy. He is not happy. As you wouldn't be when anything gets delivered crushed. Taking to TikTok, to TikTok, wow. To express his anger, the man revealed the damaged box and examined its contents. He fucking examined that shit. He said, this is how my $2,000 package arrived at my front door. It contains some really rare Pokemon cards and I'm hoping, I'm just hoping they're still intact. He explained on his little TikToky video. Honestly, just look at this box. It looks like they've literally played football with it. Are you talking about soccer, NFL, or AFL? I'm not sure what type of football they played with this box, but we will continue. And there's the box. The box looks destroyed. It looks like it has been NFL punted. I'm thinking NFL punted uh, with maybe a little bit of soccer skills there. Uh, pretty smashed up. Maybe a few handballs from the Aussie rules. Footballers too. Let's continue. The man said he felt sick. He felt sick. $2,000 down the drain. Well, if you've spent $2,000, you know you're going to be covered by eBay insurance. Don't fucking stress. You're just trying to get media attention. Let's continue. At the thought of his rare cards arriving damaged as he opened the box to check the condition of the cards while he cried, the tears would have wrecked the cardboard. I'm going to film this for insurance purposes. If the cards are damaged, I'm definitely going to be asked for a refund, he said. I'm gonna get my refund, eBay. They'll fucking protect the buyer. No, you're good. They're gonna protect the buyer. Your Pokemon cards are fine. Luckily, the cards were wrapped tightly in bubble wrap, so most of them remained intact. Although one card had a crack on it. One card. Others were also quick to slam Australia Post for the botched delivery, expressing their disgust in the comments. On TikTok, they ripped, they ripped Australia Post a new asshole. But you don't have a camera at the front of your house. So how do you know if it was Australia Post that damaged your goods in the truck? Because that looked pretty fucking beat up to me was it the sender, but the sender wrapped them up pretty good in the bubble wrap. This is a clear case that should go to the thrift judge, but we just don't have enough evidence to be able to slam either party. That's devastating. Why would they do that, one user asked, wanting to be liked. I would definitely complain to them about the condition of the package, another added while jerking off to Pokemon cards. Australia Post has since apologized for the incident and told 7news.com.au 
customers should get in touch if something goes wrong with the delivery. Well, of course, we all know that eBay covers us. Uh, we don't know if it was Australia Post, probably, because they are pretty much fucking dumb pricks sometimes. But some of them are pretty damn good too. Or was it the sender? Why didn't you just message this, like, the, the source first? Who you brought it from? Why didn't you do that? But instead, you wanted to make a TikTok video, so we're making a video about you. Oh, so Australia Post got a response. Our drivers and posties are working hard delivering a record number of parcels. Condemn you on that, they're doing a damn good job in my opinion. And whilst the vast majority take it to their destination safely, something has clearly gone wrong here and we apologise and we will reach out to the customer, a spokesperson said. We also encourage customers to contact us and when we do, they don't reply. So here's the video of what this TikToker Pokemon prick fucking did because of a little crack and a fucking and a smashed box. We've all fucking had smashed boxes before. This is how my $2,000 package arrived at my front door. It contains some really rare Pokemon cards and I'm just hoping they're still intact. I'm gonna film this for insurance purposes. If the cards are damaged, I'm definitely gonna be asking for a refund. Honestly, just look at this box. It looks like they've literally played football with it. At least the cards were placed in bubble wrap, so there is some hope. I honestly feel sick. These are some of the best cards I've ever bought. Okay, the Umbreon looks okay. And the Celebi looks all right at the front. No, oh, but there's a crack at the back. No, the Selby got a fucking crack in the back. Oh no! Ah, uh, my opinion. Maybe you should spend two thousand dollars not on three Pokemon cards and try and find yourself a girlfriend. Because when you do eventually get a girlfriend, they're gonna see your Pokemon cards and say, "Fuck this, I'm out of here. You're a little fucking virgin. You're a nerd cunt. I don't fucking want in. How can I take you to meet my mother? You collect Pokemon cards that are graded." Fucking weird prick, see you later. You wanna get inside this and you collect Pokemon cards? Fucking beat it, jerk. <laughs> you wanna catch them all? Why don't you try and catch all this? <laughs> but most girls would say, you collect Pokemon, this resembles you. Virginity, I choose you. Nothing wrong with Pokemon, if you're into that, you're into that. That is a story, what do you think? Uh, Channel 7 News, I think, uh, really pushed that uh, that Australia Post are worse than they are. I don't think they are worse than that. Um, they have been bad at times, but I think they're doing a damn good job during all this COVID bullshit. That kind of sucks that that would happen to a, an item that expensive, but at the same time, I wouldn't be spending two grand on fucking Pokemon cards. From an eBay, you'd be going to buy them in the store. Uh, that's, that's, that's my opinion on that. Cause you gotta catch them all. All right, like, subscribe, catch them all, Pokemon it, fucking do what the fuck you want. Uh, I'll be back whenever I'm back, doing videos whenever I feel like doing videos. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll hit shit like this. If you like it, you don't like it, whatevs. See you later. See you.